Hello everyone. I welcome you all in the third lecture of body movements. In this lecture, we will be learning about types of joints. So, there are mainly two types of joints that are movable and immovable. The movable joint are further classified into four types. That is hinge joint, Leiden joint, ball and socket joint, and pivot joint. An immovable joint have only one joint, that is fixed joint. Now, let's start with the first. Hinge joint. This joint allow bones to move in only one direction, back or forth with limited motion. So this is what the hinge joint is. Example of hinge joints are fingers, toes, and elbows. Now, the next type of joint is gliding joint. Gliding joint is common type of synovial joint. Now, synovial joint is the type of joint form cut. Start. Now, synovial joint is the type of joint found between bones that move against each other, such as the joints of the limbs, example, shoulders, hips, elbows, and knees. So, gliding joint allow bones to glide past each other in either the direction along the joint plane, right and left, up and down, and in a diagonal direction. The example of gliding joints are intermetacarpal joints. Now the next type of joint is ball and socket joint. This joint is also called as spherodial joint. That means a joint in which the rounded surface of a bone fits into the cup-like depression of another bone. Example, hip joint and shoulder joint. Now, the next type of movable joint is pivot joint. This is also a type of synovial joint. In this joint, two ends of the bones are connected to each other. The example of this joint is neck. Now, fixed joints are immovable joints. Fixed joints is the joint that permit little or no mobility of the joints, where most of the fixed joints are fibrous joints. Example is skull. So, dear friends, this was all about the types of joints. We learned mainly two types of joints that are movable and immovable joints. Now, let's meet in the next lecture. Stay tuned for more videos like this. Thank you.